Hello, watch enthusiasts. On this Sunday's episode, I'd like to um, to comment on a variety of watches which have been released lately, and which I rather like. Um, so to start off, there is the Oris Divers 65, and this is a sort of a a uh, heritage retro diver from Oris, um, and it's very different to their current diver, the Aquis. Now this diver. Um, in contrast to the Aquis, is only water resistant to 100 metres. But knowing Oris, it will actually be water resistant to 100 metres, uh, not just um, uh, light swimming, not just for light swimming. Um, so it comes with a uh, very th a very thin bezel, which means the watch can actually be quite small. And it runs a, a Sleeta or ETA movement, I believe. Um, so I rather like it because it, it's a real, really different, uh, different piece. Uh, especially if someone already owns the Aquis, which Oris sells. Now, um, as you've seen from these photographs, there are a, um, a pair of different uh, uh, dial options. So there's a black dial and a grey and blue one. I prefer the black one, I think, because it, it carries a sort of a, an homage status um, to the, the Blancpain 50 Fathoms. Um, and there, there was an Oris produced uh, a while back that had the, had, a, had the same dial, actually. So that's rather nice. Um, but the other one is is rather um, sporty as well and uh, carries a sort of 70s air, uh, which I can't say I particularly like, but it is different, uh, so I admire it for that. Now, Christopher Ward have struck back with a new range of Trident watches. So if you don't know them, um, if you haven't heard of the Trident range before uh, or seen one, the picture on the screen at the moment is a photograph of the standard Trident, so the uh, the diver variant, um, and there are a variety of other other variants as well, such as a GMT version and a cost chronometer version with uh, Christopher Ward's own in-house movement, which is very nice for the price um, and uh, quite remarkable for a small brand like Christopher Ward. So Christopher Ward do make two sizes of the Trident, the C60 and the C61. The C60 on the left is a 43mm watch, while the uh, the watch on the right is a 38 millimeter, the C61. Now those on the screen are the GMT versions, so you can see they have GMT bezels as well as having an extra GMT hand. These these watches run, um, and this is this applies to all watches apart from their uh, their chronometer version. These run standard ETA 2824s. I'm not sure which grade, um, or Solita SW 200s, um, which I suspect they're going to be using more and more, seeing as uh, swatches is stopping the production, well, stopping the selling of parts to third-party brands. So Christopher Ward have released two new watches, the first of which is a fully titanium version of the Trident. So uh, this, this watch comes in two variations, as you can see on the screen. Now, in terms of movements, it's business as usual, um, with the ETA and Solita movements, although I suspect there will be more Solitas this time. Uh, the first variation is a uh, an uncolored titanium with a, uh, a DLC coated bezel which I really rather like. Um, it also has a uh, different color dial um, with a sort of dark look which I think could defeat the purpose of a dive watch though because your vis visibility and legibility are paramount. The second variant is a fully DLC coated, uh, coated watch um, and this should give it a nice uh, scratch resistant uh, quality. Um, it also does have a normal Trident dial. Uh, I don't believe it has the wave pattern, though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but this should make, make this model much more legible than the other. It really ought to be noted, though, that Christopher Ward use Grade 2 titanium for, uh, for their watches. And I'm not too convinced by this, because uh, Grade 2 is known for being one of the softer types of titanium. Um, and uh, Steinhardt, for example, and, uh, and Tudor use grade 5, which is a much, much harder um, compound. So we'll just have to wait and see how durable these Christopher Wards actually are. Christopher Ward have also released a second watch, and this is the new Trident Chronograph. Now, I absolutely love this watch. I think it looks fantastic with that wave pattern in the middle of the dial. Um, and it has so many features. Um, it is it is Christopher Ward's play on I think the um, 
Omega Planet Ocean um, chronograph. So, for example, for the seconds, it um, here on that uh, on the left hand side of the dial, that ring with Trident chronograph on it um, and 600 meters actually um, pulsates because it has a ring spinning under there. Uh, pulsates blue and white um, to just to show you that the watch is still running, and uh, of course it has screw down pushes and so on, which should come in very handy for the uh, the diving enthusiasts among us. This watch does also have a Rolex style automatic helium release valve. Um, and this is an interesting point because I'm surprised that, uh, that Christopher didn't add this to their titanium models as well, seeing as they're marketed as being more hardcore divers. Um, it's surprising that they would just fit this to the chronograph, uh, seeing, as, as, seeing as most divers don't use a chronograph. Um, and in fact, you can't use a chronograph underwater because the watch would f fill if you press the pushers. So it's a strange choice, really, adding this, uh, this helium release valve just to this model. But I, um, I do rather like it, and I hope that it, it will spread to the other, other models in the range. Anyway, I shall end on, a, um, on the benchmark of, uh, of modern divers, the Tudor Pelagos. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe. Um, tell your friends about the channel, um, because that's the only way this little channel will grow. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is Arm on the Watch Guy, over and out.